Hello folks. Well, this just arrived and I was racking my brains to think what could it be? I wasn't expecting another vacuum cleaner, especially not one in this sort of box. And then I remembered, yes, I am expecting another vacuum cleaner. They've taken their time to send it. And I've no idea why they've sent it in this shape box because the vacuum I'm going to unbox would have fitted into a much smaller box had they just removed the handle. So, you know, it's a Miele Art. Let's see if this is going to be a work of art or a terrible mistake. I don't know why I bought this. I had it in my watch list. I wasn't that bothered about getting it, but I put it in my watch list. And I think the seller wanted $24.99 for it delivered. So it was in my watch list and then I got an offer from the seller offering me this for £20 delivered. So I thought, £20 delivered, I'll have it. You know, 20 quid. Can't buy much for that these days. So, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a dust bag. I do have a couple of other Miele Arts. I've got a new in the box, Red Roses. I've also got a used but very good condition. I can't remember the name of the design, but it's blue. And this one I think is the copper color. Right. Well, as I said, it's uh, the box is far too big. I don't believe it. Oh, well, they have taken the handle off. Right, because here's the cleaner. Well, it's well packed. Whoops, sorry about that, folks. A little bit of an interruption. It was Mr. Hermes or Mr. Every, as they're called now. They've changed the name. Um, yes, he delivered this about half an hour ago with um, a hose for Hoover Sensortronic and also another box. And when I looked at the other box, because I was expecting something, I was expecting a turbo nozzle. But when I looked at the box, it wasn't addressed to me. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to walk round and take it to the neighbor. But he's just been back to take the incorrectly delivered box and deliver me the one he should have delivered. So that's good. He realized his mistake. Right, hang on. I don't know where I was. Right, let's just take this out. So, yeah, I'm surprised about the shape of this box. He's probably put the handle on with the actual oh right. Ooh. heck it looks a mess but um yeah it's been well packaged right there we are okie dokie right i'll tell you what folks you're not going to want to see me unwrapping this so i'll get it all unwrapped and we'll have a closer look at this Miele art. Well, here it is. It looks better than I expected. I haven't done anything with it. I've not wiped it over. It's gonna need a clean and a polish. Unfortunately, this type of finish is just a covering on a black plastic. So once it scratches, it's very hard to disguise it. But I'm sure a bit of tea cut, a bit of polish, it's not going to come out too bad. I'm not sure if I could buy replacement hood, these two parts, because the rest of it isn't too bad at all. So this was a bit of a flop for Mila. I remember when these were launched, I saw them in a, a local vacuum shop. They also had a little uh, video playing on a TV. And I put that video up, I think, on my channel. Bit of a flop. Well... <sighs> Which is why they're interesting and it's um if you collect vacuums or interested in vacuums it's one to look for i think for 20 pounds depending if it works i'm quite happy with it but yeah this this was what was it i mean it wasn't an upright cleaner it was a bit like a stick i suppose it's mains powered one thing that surprised me when i found out more about this cleaner is it's straight suction yeah, the more I look at this, the happier I am with my £20 purchase. So you can see the underside here. There's no brush roll. We've just got a suction nozzle, litter pickers, two multi-directional wheels. This cleaner's very manoeuvrable on a hard floor. Not so good on a carpet. I think this cleaner shines on hard floors 
it will be okay on short pile carpets the squeegee at the back here i mean it's in pretty good condition it's not worn away and inside as i said i don't think there's a dust bag press this button to reveal a very tiny dust compartment for the very tiny dust bag uh, what i'm gonna have to do before i switch this on is uh well i think i've got my blue art um somewhere in my bedroom actually under the bed so i'll just have to take the bag out of that until i can get to the the other bags i've got several packs of bags i'm sure for this but yes so it's a bit hard to show you this yellow piece is a suction um what's the word duct that's it and it comes out pretty sure it does hang on I'm sure it lifts out somehow it's gonna be stiff isn't it let's just have a closer look this way I'm trying to show you what I'm doing and also oh that's it oh there we go hang on I think it just lifts there we are that's it so that's uh, the ducting. So obviously that comes out in case it gets blocked, which pretty narrow ducting, so it probably would have got blocked. Uh, it's I can already smell it <laughs> before turning it on. Pure stinks. Are you going to go in? There we are. There's a pre-motor filter. Which to be, you know, to be fair, that's not bad at all. Could have been worse. It's surprising that I can close that without a bag in place. Yeah, there is a bag check indicator as well here. Now, how do you get, oh, I think, yes, I do have to open it, yes, to access the filter. I think this will have the standard filter. And I've got some of these. Ooh, ooh there's dirt. Dirt's got through into that. So dirt's obviously got into the motor. This one is the activated charcoal. Active air clean filter. You can get HEPA filters for these. Somebody's selling a couple on eBay. I'm pretty sure I've got some though. But um, I might get them anyway because they're getting pretty hard to get filters and parts. Bags as well are pretty hard to get for this. I know I've got bags somewhere. So that's the filter. And under the cover for the filter, we've got the rating plate. So let's have a quick look at that. So this is Mila type HS09 707 volts, 50 hertz, made in Germany. 900 watts, maximum 1,000 watts. All right, so there's that. On the back, well, on the sides, two large wheels. It looks a bit sort of like a car, doesn't it? A futuristic car from that angle. We've got, now I wasn't dreaming this, but all the art machines I have are only single speed, but I know I had some with two speed motors because this on off button, you used to be able to press it and hold it, I think, and then it would boost the power or something, but it definitely used to have a two speed option. This is just single speed. And we've got the, oh, that popped down quick, didn't it? Whoop. <laughs> that's the, the release for the handle. That's not broken, that's good, little catch there. And on the other side, we've got automatic cord rewind. So. Out it comes. Yeah, cords in one piece, no damage. Ooh, nearly. Go on. Come on now. You don't want to go in, do you? But eventually you will. You will go in eventually. Bit of persuasion. Go on. Get in there. <coughs> right, well, it's, there we are. <laughs> I knew you'd, you'd, I knew you'd do it in the end. 
So here's the handle. How does it not come off? Hmm, I, I always thought that came off, like the stick cleaner. I'm pretty sure this version was called Hot Chocolate. It's more of a copper colour to me. Um, we are missing two other attachments. And I think it had a clip to hold them. So this is the... Yeah, this does actually come apart. So this, yes, this does come apart, actually. Let me just do it for you. I can do it. I think you press this button, if I remember. This bit should come off. Or does it? Something comes off, I know it does. Oh, there we are, it's coming, there we are. Yes, it could have gone. It could have gone in a smaller box, as I thought. So here's the uh, handle. And that uh, also incorporates a suction control, so you can reduce suction at the cleaner head when the handle's attached. But also, when you're using the handle for above floor, because yes, folks, this is hiding a hose. This will do above floor as well. So, it is telescopic, so you've got a button here. And you can uh, extend. So this can be used with a nozzle. So that's why there are two, there should have been a crevice and an upholstery nozzle with this. But any standard Miele nozzles will fit this, even turbo nozzle. And at the top here, we've got the hook for the cable with a little clip either side to keep it in place. You can turn it down. Um, can't remember. Oh yes, the lower hook's on this part. So this is the lower part of the handle. Oh, has it got the hook on the lower part? I'm not sure. Can't remember where it is. There must be. This is just thinking where the lower hook is. It'll all become apparent to me unless the lower hook's missing. I can't remember. Right, so yeah, this is the lower handle and it incorporates ta -da, a hose look. And there's two attachments. This part you can use directly or you've got a little brush there, ideal for your computer keyboards if anyone uses a computer keyboard these days. Or your typewriter, <laughs> if you've got a typewriter. It's fairly soft, so it's good for the little nooks and crannies, lampshades and things. So there's that. So we'll fit the handle to the machine. And it'll only go in one way. It all looks okay so far. All right, which way does it go? That way, yep, that way. That's it, so that's clicked in place. And we need to pop the handle back. That's it, oh, that's clicked into place. And then this part here, we turn it round, lift up that and pop it in and close it. Well, that's for the suction control, as I said there. So that's all tucked away. So it's quite a neat little machine. And I think, yeah, it's gonna be a collectible because as I said, it was a bit of a flop for Mila. Only really suitable, I don't know, for someone living in an apartment with mainly floors. Someone who didn't have children or pets. Oh, what am I saying? I'm a, I'm a fool, aren't I? I bet you're thinking, what a fool I am. Yes, I am. I've just been talking about where's the lower hook. <laughs> There's a top hook. Where's the lower one? Of course, it doesn't have a lower hook because it's got automatic cord rewind, you silly boy, Roger. So this gubbins here. All this does, you take the cable and pop it through, like so, he says, there we go. So that keeps the cable out of the way, which is fine. Comes out the machine, you know, halfway. But I don't know why then, there is, so of course the cable will go a bit higher. I can't understand the reason for this top, the hook that turns down. I'm not really sure why that, that's like that. But anyway, you can see now that the cable comes all the way from the bottom through the little hoop in the middle and then clips to the hook at the top. But yeah, why? 
Why has it got? I can't understand. I'll have to look at the instruction book for the other machines I've got. I don't know why it has a turn down hook. What possible use can that be? But anyway, it keeps the cable up and out of the way. Right then, folks. I think it's time we plugged in this. If this uh, art sounds okay, then I think £20 delivered is money well spent. Okay, put it out of the way. Plug in and fingers crossed. I'm pretty sure the listing said it worked. Right, obviously it's switched off. Obviously, I do know there is no bag in this, but it's all got to be cleaned up. I don't know if I had much suction. I'm not sure. We can find out if there is any suction by pulling out the hose and see if we've got any suction at the end of the hose. Hmm, I'm wondering if the suction is dependent on having a bag fitted. What we could try, hang on. It is possible that this is very clogged up. I don't know if that's going to, oh, that does, yeah, that still closes without a filter. Yeah, it's got more, I can't remember the suction this should have. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go upstairs and fetch my blue machine. I don't think I've ever shown you the blue one. Well, I might have done for the previous version. A few years back, somebody was selling these on eBay for 50 pounds each, and I did buy a couple at the time, and then I think I ended up selling them, but managed to get another one back, the, um, the Red Roses one, new in the box. I paid a bit more than 50 for it though. And then later on I found the blue one again, but it was slightly used. So I'm going to get the blue one for comparison actually. It would be good to compare the suction and then I can borrow the bag and the filter out of the blue one and put it in this, as I said, I'm pretty sure Mila called this hot chocolate. Here we go folks. Here's the one of the other art cleaners I have. Look at that. So this wasn't brand new when I bought it, but almost. So it'll be interesting to compare the suction. I think this was a bit more deluxe as well. This, and they did a black one, was a, I think this is the basic one with the basic filter. We do have a bag in this one and uh, let's, uh, oh, that's that button. Ah, so yes, this is the HEPA filter, so it's much cleaner, obviously. And we do have a bag, so I'll uh, plug this one in. Again, this is only single speed. I bet you didn't expect to see another art, did you? Blue art. All right, we can also compare the noise. If, if this one sounds, it, it sounded okay to me. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with the motor of that uh, chocolate machine. 
this one has got more suck I'm sure Certainly, yeah, certainly a lot more suction. It was not too bad, a bit hard to push on this carpet. On a shorter pile carpet, it'd be easier. And of course on a hard floor, even easier still. Gonna take the old hose out, try the suction. Well, to be honest, I think that's on a par with the chocolate one when it doesn't have a filter in. So, we'll take out the itsy witsy teeny weeny bag. How do you do it with these? They're supposed to seal. I think I've broken the bag because it's not... Uh, it's supposed to pull out. Yeah, I think there's a bit broken off it. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. I think, I don't know. Is it a bit broken? Look at that. Incy wincy bag. So I'll pop that bag, it's uh, LL type bags. We'll take that bag out and I'll take out the HEPA filter. Just for, don't worry, I'll be putting it back. You stay over there, okay. Whoops, what was that? Oh, nothing, right. We'll take the old hot chocolate. Do you believe in miracles? And uh, pop the bag in. So these bags are supposed to seal yeah, I won't pull it down completely. If they're fitted properly, this little plastic seal comes down like a little blind. So I think we just slot it in. That's it. And it should, yeah, should engage. And then put the HEPA filter in. Which way is it? Is it that way? Right, I think we'll have a bit better suction now. seems okay so it's the stun plug which one is it this one so once I've got a nice new filter in this I'll have to have a look to see how hard or easy it is to get into because it could probably do with a good clean out the motors there's probably motor um, dust inside the motor casing just depends how simple it is. I can see four screws. You can't see them at the moment. But there are four screws. One, two, three, four. Uh, I can't think it's gonna be that easy. <laughs> Might appear easy at the time, but I think that's not going to be all that needs to be undone. So I'll have to take a closer look, but I don't think it's on its last legs. I think the motor Sounds okay, but it's not perfect. Why is that not going down? Mm. I'll take the bag out because I need it for my other one. Again, it doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we are. But all in all, I think this is going to clean up well. I think twenty pounds delivered I means you know they might charge me a tenner for it for delivery for this. Well, sent with Hermes slash Every, it might have cost them about seven pounds, I think. So, you know. Oh, oh no, thought you were going to 
go all the way then, but no, there we are. So yeah, I think that's uh, a good buy. I'm pleased with that, 20 pounds. I'm glad I went for it. Can't remember how much this one cost. This was might have been around 50, but as you can see, it's in a lot better condition. Oh, that's not like me. Putting one of those cheapo air fresheners in. Why have I done that? So we'll pop the uh, the bag back that way up. So yes, very short run cleaner. I don't know how many years it ran for, but not many. And it's a unique design. It was a complete one-off, the Miele Art. There we go, that's everything put back. But yes, it would. you can consider this a flop for Miele. See the underside of that one? As I said, it, it, it was, it's slightly scuffed up in places, but it was uh, the nearest I could get. This finish is lovely, isn't it? Look at that. But again, it's very easy to damage this finish. And the Red Roses one I've got is new in the box. So when I saw this, I've had this a few years now, this one. I might as well put a bit of dirt down on the carpet and then some on the hard floor. I think this will do better on a hard floor. But yeah, I've never really tested these properly. So it'll be quite interesting to see how this Miele Art copes. I can't do a huge mess test, obviously, because of the tiny bag. But I can put down a fair amount of dirt and we'll see if this Art can pick it up.
Well, that's about the end of my video today. Apologies if you've noticed any sound problems during the video. All I'll say to you is never buy a Rode microphone. So it's goodbye from the Miele Art. Is it a forgotten design classic or better best forgotten? What do you think? Comment below. I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now. Shall I put down some dirt? I've never done a dirt test, I don't think. No, I haven't. Never tested a Miele Art with some dirt. So I'll put a bit of 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 a b